What's going on guys? I'm here with the founder of the UK Fruit Festival, <laughs> Mr. Ronnie Smith. How are you? How's it going man? Really good. Yeah, great. What's good what's what's again. been the what's been the biggest change over this festival over any other festival you've done in the past? We have more people. More we have people. 170 people. Stronger now than ever before. It's got bigger, yeah. And uh, we had to get an extra tent, so we've had to bring in things like marquees and audio systems. So uh, because of the size of it, we have got too many people, so we can't just have uh, people talking without you know sound equipment and things like that. So as it grows, you have to bring in more things to yeah. help with that. So those kind of things. Sure. For me, the biggest difference here is this year. The like last year they served great fruit for all the fruitarians, but this year it's like they got these donuts that they didn't have last year and I was shocked when they brought in the donuts. Yeah, well we need to have, we need to accommodate all, right. all dietary requirements. I, so. I didn't think I was going to eat donuts when I came here. I mean, I didn't think you were going to serve them, <laughs> that's for sure. But um, I'm honestly glad I tried them. Yeah. I like them. They're, they're great. I'm probably going to try and get some more back in Canada. Kind of hooked on them now. Just, uh, it makes you think of your childhood a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm not hooked on them in a bad way. Like, I think, I think they're actually quite, they're quite good for you. For sure. Um, but anyways, we're going to bust open to some here and um, see how they are. So, these are, these are some donut, right here. Donut peaches, to be specific. And uh, the way I like to eat them personally is I like to make them sure they're super soft, super ripe. And uh, you know they're ripe when they're super soft. And when the skin peels off really easily. When the skin peels off, you know you're good to go. So, you know, when you eat a, a, a standard North American diet donut, there's no skin on it really. You just bite right in and you're good to go. So you gotta kind of prepare these in a way that it imitates that. <laughs> so take the skin off. The skin is, you can eat it for sure, a lot of people do, most people do, but they're just unaware really of how great it really can be if you feel it. So, <laughs> Ronnie and I are gonna taste test this one. And on the inside they have this beautiful red pit here. Ronnie, these are as good as they could possibly ever be. <laughs> they couldn't be better. They are top notch. Mmm, it's raining, but we're in good spirits. Eating great fruit. Best fruit, this is the best fruit. You cannot get better. And uh, we got good people all around. We got Emma behind the camera here. We yeah, got we've got some interesting people here this year, but a lot, a lot of the, like you came back from last year and uh, a lot of the speakers have done really well every year so we want them to come back and be part of it again and uh, some, of this, some of the same attendees and volunteers have come back so that's it and I don't know, really know where this is going next so I'd appreciate any feedback if anyone wants to give <laughs> ideas or advice. Yeah, the UK Fruit Festival, it's, yeah. it's everyone's festival. Ronnie just happens to be the guy who puts all the pieces in place, but he only puts the pieces in place if where people want the pieces put. So this is really everyone's festival. Ronnie just happened to be the one to pull the trigger on it. But if anyone has any ideas or advice or feedback, suggestions, whatever, for next year, following years, 2020, whatever, yeah, send them, uh, send them our way. Yeah, absolutely, any, any kind of ideas. But also if you want to get involved, or help out or um, be part of it or if you've got or if you're somewhere else and you want to start a festival and you want help with that or advice or whatever then also get in touch with me I'd like, I'd like to help other people out doing it. So. But really the real reason you're watching this video is if you want to know where to get these donuts Krispy Kreme you ask Ronnie he'll let you know so subscribe to his channel what's your channel? Uh, Fruity Ronster, but there's also a UK Fruit Fest channel, so you can check that out. That's going to start growing a bit now. So you've got a personal channel, Fruity Ronster. That's my personal. Which I recommend. Name. Some good content on there. <laughs> yeah. As well as the UK Fruit Festival <laughs> official page. I've like, I've probably got quite a few interviews with you that you, people can go back and have a look at from years back. Yeah, it's crispy and, cream. Uh, yeah. Crispy cream. Mm hmm. Yeah, so I have lots of silly videos over the last few years uh, at festivals and things and food festivals and traveling around. And, and you've got a music album too out, right? People can purchase that on Bandcamp. Where can I get Bandcamp, that? Bandcamp, Ronnie Smith Music. Yep. 
I'll put that Bandcamp. link in the description below. Yeah, the album's been getting some good reviews from people, so happy with that. I'm gonna start. Beautiful. I'm gonna start promoting that a bit more. Beautiful music you make, man. Absolutely love it. Excellent. You can use it anything you want in my videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you might use it as the outro for this one. If you don't, uh, if you don't flag me. <laughs> yeah. When you go outside, don't you know that you never know? You stay all night till we fight on the telephone. When you see the light, it's gonna shine so bright, bright, bright. When you feel the love, you're gonna know that's my love. But you Till you go, no, you never know You never try, till you try But you'll never try When you see the light It's gonna shine so bright, bright, bright When you feel the love You're gonna know that's my love And someone you Someone you love, love Someone to love